Hello, Facebook Live. Marcus here. Um, I'm going to do a little demo and talk about the biggest mistake being made when you buy strip steaks. Um, just everybody, I have a microphone on today because I'm in the kitchen and it's a little noisy. So if just leave a comment, make sure you can hear me. Um, that would help out just to make sure that I am, I, my mic is live here. You never know, I have a lavalier mic plugged in. Uh, so I have a strip steak on the other side of this camera. I'm going to cut the whole strip loin and show you what pieces are best out of there and show you what pieces are worst out of there and how not to get ripped off. Uh, this is gonna be a quick little five, six minute video, maybe a little longer. Jamie will be on Facebook Live here pretty soon during her happy hour of the day. Um, so folks, just do me a favor, make sure if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up right now. Just give me a thumbs up or drop a comment, hashtag live or something. Uh, if you can hear me again, I have a lavalier mic on. So I just wanna make sure that, uh, that I'm loud and clear with you because there's other noise in the background of the kitchen here. So uh, just drop a comment, make sure you can hear me. All right, here we go. We'll just turn the camera around. And there we go. There's our New York strip, that's our strip loin. And the strip loin, um, this is where New York strip steaks come out of. And so uh, this is actually, um, you buy strip loins by their specifications, zero by one, zero by two, and that two inch, that zero by two is the tail on here. So that's, a, that, that's two inches right there. Um, strip loins always come, always, always come with a fat cap on them. Um, that's standard. All right, so you can, a lot of chefs will go in here and just take a little bit off of this side here, because this side here can be a little tougher. Uh, this is the, uh, that would be the toughest part of the steak, so just by clearing that off a touch, helps out a lot. All right, so, now there's our strip loin. All right, I'm gonna put up a little more right there. All right, so when you cut a porterhouse or a T-bone, this is the actual other side of the porterhouse or the T-bone. All right, this is the New York strip side. So we have two sides. Um, this side here has a double muscle, and we'll talk about this side, because this is the important side not to buy. All right, we're gonna talk about that really quick uh, once I get down there. So um, when you buy this uh, center cut New York strip steaks, they typically take them from the center. Let's make sure I'm in the camera. They typically take it from the center. That is, those are the best cuts of the strip steak are gonna be the center cuts. Those are gonna be the most expensive. This part down at the other end is the vein cut. I'm gonna show you how that works. So by the way, strip steaks are on sale this week at Aroma Time. Uh, we are blowing them out for it. And these exact ones right here that I'm cutting right now are for sale. $9.99, they're typically $15.99. We haven't had them in in a while. Um, these are grass fed. No hormones, no antibiotics. That is a strip steak. This is probably about a 12 ounce one, 11 ounce one that I just cut here. That's the average of them. Um, that's 100% grass fed and grass finished. All right. So if you want in on the strip steak deal, email us, info at aromatimebistro.com uh, or call us 647-3000. All right, so get in deal. Now I've approached what is now the center part of this. This is where the center cut steak comes out of. This right here is the prized cut out of the strip loin. That's the center cut. I'm gonna put this aside and show you based upon the other ends. And this is the other end, this is the other end. So that's the end portion, that's the end steak. All right, that end is not so bad as this other end that we're gonna to get to. And I'm gonna show you the big difference here and how not to get ripped off. I've seen people actually buy dry aged strip steaks that get the vein cut. And the vein cut is very undesirable. It doesn't eat as well, uh, just because of the different muscles in there. So the vein cut is definitely not gonna eat nearly as tender as this cut. So $9.99 this week for strip steak sale. It goes until supplies are gone. Now this is gonna be one of the last cuts of our center cut here. And now we're approaching the vein end. Um, so nice, nice piece of nice, nice looking steak. Now, as we start approaching the vein end here, you're going to see right here, there's a tiny piece of sinew or, um, the other muscles coming in right there. 
You can't really see it yet, but now watch the next cut here. The next cut, you can really see it. And that's just the opposite side of that stake. This stake, this side, you could barely see it. The next side, there it is. You can see that white streak running in there. This is a different muscle than the strip stake. That piece of sinew that goes down and through there actually makes this steak tougher to eat. So once you start cutting with, with a knife and fork and you get that piece in your mouth, that makes a tough steak. This, some chefs will serve this as a well done steak because it's gonna cook it and help tenderize it by, by being well done. But if you're eating this medium rare, rare uh, medium, this is not going to eat because of that right there. So that is the end, that's the vein. And we're going back to the nice, beautiful center cut. That's the center cut again. So now what we do with, what we do with this steak right here is it actually goes on the smoker. We put our uh, uh, smoking barbecue spice on it and it goes onto our smoker and this is what goes into our pizza so we can actually cut that piece out and it won't be tough. Uh, we don't sell these steaks at all. Stores love to sell these. Butchers love to sell these because they make money on it. Uh, because there's, it's hard to sell these to an educated chef. So again, you can see there's a total, you can see the different grain there versus there and that's the dividing line right there. The other side shows at the end right there and that's really a, actually let me just start cutting this out and show you what's in there. So, um, that's that piece right there. And I'm just gonna go in and show you. See, so to see the white in there, the white right in there, that's gonna run throughout this whole part of the meat. And it's gonna, it's going to be on the muscle there, dividing the two muscles. And that is a tough piece of meat. So this is a vein cut. So if you go buy strip steaks from a butcher or from a shop, make sure, say, make sure no vein cuts. I literally saw somebody pay big money for a dry aged steak that was indeed a vein cut. Um, so no vein cuts. You wanna ask for center cuts, that's the most expensive, um, or the other end, but no, no vein cuts. So out of this whole, out of this whole strip loin here, one, two, three, three steaks that are total vein cuts that we cannot sell as, as steak. And the other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 25% loss in steaks here because we cannot uh, we don't serve the vein cuts here. And again, 25% yield is a lot to lose. So it's attractive for a lot of chefs, restaurants to actually use this cut right here and they'll save it for well done. So we don't do it. We put it on the smoker and then, and then we uh, dissect that piece out of there and that goes on our smoked strip steak pizza. So our smoked strip steak pizza is this indeed right here. All right, I hope that helps everybody when they go to buy strip steaks and not get ripped off. Um, Cause literally, literally restaurant wholesale companies will sell these steaks for literally like five bucks a pound and sell the center cuts for $10 a pound. Uh, so it's really a massive price difference. And a lot of restaurants will buy these for steak sandwiches where they'll grill these and slice these thin and hopefully you won't be able to taste that in there uh, as part of, um, um, as part of uh, the toughness that it is uh, by slicing that super thin. So that's the deal with strip steaks, folks. They're on sale this week, $9.99. You will not get, you will not get one of these in here. I promise that. Uh, you will not get everything is going to be high quality um, One muscle meat the strip loin uh, And these are beautiful steaks. These are grass-fed 999. They're on sale this week. Thanks folks for tuning in appreciate it if you found this video helpful Just give it a thumbs up leave a comment um, To make sure I can I love creating videos like this people really love videos like this that help you buy and purchase foods more uh, 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 Just not get ripped off basically so, um, all right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.